Time now to take a look at what's in store for the property market this weekend and joining me to spell it all out is real estate agent Adrian Bow, who runs a national auction business as well. Adrian, lovely to have you. Great to see you again. Thanks for having me back, Erin. You are out with COVID last week. Yes, That's a sorry big cross, but yeah, yep. we've forgiven you. No, no, it's not your fault. <laughs> um, tell me about the RBA and what impact keeping rates on hold for the first time in 10 months has from a buyer's perspective, say. Sure. Well, we're paused at that 3.6% um, cash rate, so... That's been quite a quite a positive move, given we've had 10 increases uh, consecutively. So I think what you're going to find is you've got about 880,000 mortgage holders that are coming off fixed rates sometime this yeah. year. So they were locked in at around 2%, but APRA, who's the governing body for the banks, were quite smart back when those were locked in, and they assessed people at a 3% buffer rate, so around 5%, which is not a coincidence, which is around where they're going to be this time, around 5%. OK, big weekend ahead for the auctions following Easter. What was Easter like? Easter was still fine. We had 68% clearance nationally. Uh, the week before that, 71% clearance. Tomorrow we've got 1,800 auctions nationally across the board and we're expecting some really good numbers still over that 70% mark. Some encouraging data came out of CoreLogic this week, Erin, yeah. which was despite... Uh, 8 to 12% correction over the last 12 month period in a downwards trajectory using Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane as barometers. We've seen in the last 30 days anywhere between 1 to 1.4% uplift, right. which is telling us that the bottom is behind us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what about though, and let's go to the top first, a couple of properties to keep our eye on this weekend. Yes. Let's go high end, kind of our imagination, luxury. What, yes. what can we expect? Well, we've got a fantastic property um, in Victoria, which is 42 k's east of um, oh. Melbourne CBD. Uh, it sits on about 12 acres. Mm. Um, this property has had the most views on realestate.com for the entire week. Uh, oh. So it's a beautifully European-inspired property. Uh, you could definitely see yourself living there, I'm <laughs> sure, Erin. You're looking around $2.5 million, which is very, very reasonable. Wow, is that... All? I mean, that's still an incredible amount of money, but... Yeah given that it get you like a two-bedroom apartment in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. Exactly. That's incredible. That's the, the most views on real estate. Correct, com. correct. What do they reckon? Because often the price guide is slightly under what it will go for. What do you believe it'll go for? Put yourself out. I think it pro probably more in that sort of mid to high twos, I think. OK, yeah. now yeah. what about something, and this is so boring, but probably more relevant to most of our viewers, something a little bit more reasonable? Well, we've got a really nice property in uh, Marrickville, and Marrickville has performed very well during the pandemic with a lot of growth. However, this particular property in Philpot Street um, is around that $1 million price guide. Good entry point. It sounds crazy, around that $1.1 $1 .1 million. Yeah. But good entry point, a good, clean, uh, well-presented property. And the good thing about Marrickville is in the last 12 months, you've had a reduction in pricing of around 12%. So great opportunity to get into that market. And as I said, now that we've seen the bottom, I think there's a good opportunity of buying now. Just quickly, it's always different, I know, but you look at rentals and there's 100 people. How many people are showing up at auctions around about on average? Good question. Think? At the moment, we're seeing anywhere between 4 to 12 registrations okay, on average. Yeah. And that's creating a quite a competitive environment, which is not surprising because if you can afford to buy, then this is definitely the time to do it. The alternative is to rent. And as you just yeah. mentioned, there's some crazy queues happening there. OK, Adrian Bo, thank you so much as always. Brilliant. Look thank at you, you so much, wasted Aaron. not in media full time. Look at you go. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Thank you so Thanks, much. Aaron.